Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. Um, as usual, we're gonna take a look at all the measures including gold and oil. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar and as you see as major events we do not have much on the calendar, typical summer trading. Um, the major events, the only major events we have are on Tuesday from Aussie Monetary Policy minute, uh, Meeting Minutes, I'm not expecting too much fireworks. Um, on Wednesday we have the OPEC uh, meetings all day and on Friday we have the very important um, uh, EU uh, service uh, and manufacturing PMIs. Now if we look uh, at the uh, medium impact event we see that we have some more uh, like uh, crude oil inventory, FOMC minutes, uh, no fireworks expecting here, Philly Fed manufacturing index, unemployment claims and so on. So um, um, a, as I said, a typical summer trading, so um, not much uh, major events on the calendar. Looking at the chart, starting with the Dixie, as usual, we are looking at the weekly time frame. And um, you see that, guys, we still um, uh, at this uh, support level here, testing this area, this major uh, range we had uh, previously back, uh, back in the days, I would say, 2015, 2016. And uh, the market is testing that level, uh, been tested twice, uh, two weeks now, tested here last week, it didn't reach that level. And um, yeah, as far as this level is holding as support, the bulls will try to defend this. But if broken on a weekly basis, then we start looking for a continuation to the downside. Will that happen uh, in August? I'm not sure about that, probably September. but. I think with this uh, slow summer trading, I'm not sure we're going to see that break, especially with the RSI at the extreme oversold on the weekly time frame as well. Going down to the daily, we see that we start having some kind of a consolidation down here, um, correction flag, call it whatever you want. And we have a bullish uh, divergence on the RSI, a strong bullish divergence on the RSI. So. Uh, we potentially could see um, some kind of reversal, but still very, very early to, to call that because it you could get something like this impulse, long consolidation, another impulse, then we had a correction and another impulse. So this could be the ending wave now and uh, maybe a little bit of a correction. So keep an eye on that. But as I said, if we get a break uh, below these levels on the weekly basis or daily basis, then we gonna see continuation to the downside on the dollar. Looking at oil, we're still going uh, sideways very, very slowly and testing the 200 moving average, um, playing around it, hugging this 200 moving average. And uh, really for more upside, um, bulls need to break above this previous high here, hold above this level for that continuation. Otherwise, this area is still at the resistance level and a potential rotation back down uh, toward the 3850 uh, area on uh, oil. So these are the two levels to keep an eye at. The top here, if broken or if the, uh, the bear is going to defend it and then a rotation back down at the moment it looks like a potential uh, pennant or something like that you see this squeezing be careful on oil guys because it could give you a fake out this is would not be the first time you see a break out of a pennant on oil and then a uh, reversal back down it happens a lot so uh, be aware of that uh, gold. So uh, the gold, uh, we're gonna go to the weekly time frame to, to look where we are at. So we've been uh, trading at all time high. There was nothing to use looking left. And now we start having a little bit of a structure. So last week was a bearish one with a, a correction back up, a bit of a rejection here. So if we go down to the daily time frame, we see that uh, after this uh, strong impulse, we've got a correction back up. I'm watching actually the 618 to see if we're gonna get some kind of um, uh, rejection at that level. So after this strong impulse, 200 moving average on the four hour was acting as nice support. And now looking for uh, this area at around 618 to see if we're gonna get 
the CD leg. So what I'm uh, talking about that we have the A here, B, potential C leg, and uh, maybe a D leg here on uh, after that um, correction. So keep an eye on 618 to see if we're gonna get this before the bigger continuation move. This is a very possible scenario because if we look at the um, 1800-ish area, uh, it got broken and uh, there was no retest. So potentially something like this before the next move. So short term, keep an eye on that 618 is my uh, plan. UUSD uh, consolidation, as um, as I showed you on the Dixie, but this is the opposite, of course. This is a, a going to the upside. The weekly close was above this level, so the last week close was above this uh, previous structure, but not above these uh, closest high we had we had here. Looking on the four-hour time frame, uh, what we should be watching is still this range here. So we had the break of the trend line, and when that happened, we were looking to see if we're gonna get continuation, but there was no break above previous lows the market did hold this level and start pushing higher again so we have two levels to watch uh, for the upcoming weeks and that is the top of the range and the bottom of the range we should keep playing those until we have some kind of breakout either a breakout to the upside which may um, uh, give the bulls a little bit uh, strengths and uh, potential continuation or if we get a break to the downside that means we may give uh, get a bigger correction lower on this market because even here if we look on the daily time frame after the break here and this parabolic move there was no retest or correction to the upside so uh, could be a completion here that we have a b c d leg and then maybe a potential correction before the next move and um, yeah if we uh, try to put a uh, fib uh, retracement here we see that the 618 happened to be at that broken structure that this would be a perfect level for the bulls to defend if a correction happened on this market so short term once again keep playing this range until you have a break out of it same for uh, the sterling so the sterling uh, did reach this level on the daily time frame it is a pretty important area and got stuck in inside this range now entered summer trading slower down trading and uh, yeah we see that we have the three attempts that fails to make a new highs going inside the range so i would say the same about this keep playing this range and uh, sell the high by the low until you have a breakout um, on this market as well usd uh, jappy so going to the daily time frame we see that we had um, impulse correction another impulse i'm looking to see if we're gonna get one more time another correction and a bounce higher and to see that a little bit better we could go down to the four hour time frame and um, the idea is uh, to see if the market gonna reach the 618 uh, fibonacci retracement at around the 106 area to then look for that continuation because as far as this level is not broken, this move is still a, a bullish start here. So that's why I'm watching that 618 and the 106 for a potential continuation move on this market. USD chief inside the little range here. Also same scenario on this one. As far as there is no break below this, this would be a support and another bounce to the upside is what I'm, uh, is what I'm looking for here. So um looking on the weekly time frame we see that uh, this market uh, did actually broke below this level but still no break about below this last line of defense okay so right now we're still inside this range if broken to the downside we look for a continuation move but let's uh, keep that um break and close on the daily time frame yeah <coughs> one hour is not enough <coughs> sorry guys okay so play the range on uh, usd chief uh, for now usd cad reached the yearly pivot point of uh, 2020 so if we look on the daily time frame we see that this was an important level here got tested many times <coughs> and uh, we got some kind of bounce on this level not the best support but still um, it is a um, yearly pivot point so that's why i'm interested to keep an eye on this um, the trend is still bearish of course after this uh, these bigger moves uh, we still have a bearish trend but we could um, start expecting a potential correction for our time frame we still also bearish on these ones so as far as no break above a structure level like this 
for the bulls to um, get the signal for a, for a continuation it's going to be um, resistance and then another leg to the downside ex is expected so as first watch these areas as a potential resistance if um, they do not manage to break above them then we have a continuation to the downside because we're still in this uh, bearish direction on this market okay it's very easy to see where this market is going at the moment Aussie USD consolidation after a strong push to the upside uh, and a break above these levels we see that we have a bearish divergence on the daily time frame and um, going inside this range so uh, we should be playing this range uh, as well until we have a break out of it the support is down here and resistance up here right now we are mid-range so it's pretty easy for the market to go both ways so be careful playing the market inside this uh, madness here the best would be to wait for a um, retest of the top to see if we're gonna get a rotation back down or a retest to the bottom to see if we're gonna get a rotation uh, up from uh, those edges of these range uh, of this range yeah and um, New Zealand USD this one is a little bit um, weaker than Aussie USD because this one is already establishing some kind of a trend uh, start because we had the divergence on the RSI uh, and then we've got uh, a break of the level we have a lower high we have a lower low as well so uh, potentially this will push back down toward the bottom of the range and the 200 moving average down here that could be a, uh, a possibility looking on the four hour time frame we see it all also uh, pretty clear that we have a lower high another lower high we have a lower low and we have a start of a trend on the four hours so any break below this will signal a continuation to the bottom of the range that what i'm watching for this market uh, for the upcoming week as well so uh, yeah guys that was it for um, the youtube version of this video as usual i will continue to do all the rest of the markets for our trading room and as you may know by now we still have the um, 14 days trial for only one dollar guys if you're interested of that go to my uh, page uh, the link is in the description and you have it on the screen uh, down below and uh, yeah why not uh, join us and see what we do and how we work at the uh, pa fx um, uh, trading room so thanks a lot guys see you next sunday bye bye